Good Providence, let's see if Eddie calls one. Remember Croswell, one of the best offensive rebounders in the nation, is lurking down there for a second chance opportunity. See if they help here and he might find somebody. Tough Top shot. Ends. Tough shots. No, it grazed the backboard. Nemhard's got it. 12 seconds. Two timeouts for Creighton. They got the first one. Tough shot. A little bit of a settle. And be careful on that baseline. Ball side, too. And don't forget the inbounder is a dangerous guy. Coming back in. Yeah. Shireman to key it in. And Carter's on them bar. Oh, they double. What a good trap. They have a timeout. Creighton has a timeout. They don't use it. Two seconds to the rim. It goes. Kaluma had a crack at it. And we are going to overtime. Didn't force anything. I mean, he's over 20 now. <laughs> and we're tied again. Providence and Creighton can't quit each other. Yep. Can't get away. On Valentine's Day. Carter on the dribble here. I like it. Paul Brenner meets him. Bynum driving Alexander. Gotta get free for him. It's locked. Back. Nice floater. And again, a guy who knows how to use screens and get free. Not one of those so many individuals. Buckman really has not been a factor other than good screening. Down the stretch here. Shireman ties the game again. 84 all, 40 seconds to go. Carter into Shireman. Pretty good contain. Hopkins got to get busy. Bynum the pull up. That faded left on him. He does get busy. And he missed the shot down low. Ball springs three. Still loose in the air. He caught it on the ground. How about that pass from the rear? That did not hit the rim. So the shot clock is down at eight, now seven. And let's see. We have a whistle. He's not coming out. There's no, no way. Bite his lip and come back in. Seven seconds to shoot for Providence. One of the great shot blockers in the country back there, Colt Brenner for Creighton. And Kaluma knows, knows the back screen. They're going to go to Hopkins. They're going to settle. He's got to shoot it. Here he goes. Oh, and too he late. gave it away. Too this late. is not going to count even if it gets on the rim. 9.1 and a violation. And Creighton has two left, if I'm not mistaken. Two timeouts. Yep. Right, so they might come over half court and get the timeout. Uh, that's exactly what Greg McDermott just pointed. Get across midcourt, and you've got one. So they're going to say 9.5 and .4 to it. Got to take that shot. Right? Yeah. Nemhard with eight, with seven. They're going. He's going to blow by. Nemhard off the call Brenner screen. Two seconds to the rim. Nice block. How about that? Talk about energy. Lock the step back. Well, I didn't really have it there. I didn't think. A good reaction response defensively on him. Kaluma in the lane on Hopkins. Turns him around Tough and left it short. Tough shot. Oh, the way instead of Adam. Late in the night, too. Yeah. Mighty different guys, though. He's pretty good at that. Kind of feel like this is the possession for Providence, trying to create a two-possession game here. He can get a post up for Hopkins at some point. Locked, pretty. changing direction in midair. He knew he had some size on them ball. Timeout, Greg McDermott. Here comes the crowd. That game. Mm. You gotta get into your stuff though. Can't be standing still this long. Uh, really in trouble now. Five to no attack. Three down the lane. Wraparound pass taken away. Can't do that. Nemhard. Speed. 
A good look for Shireman. And he missed it. Yeah, he just hasn't had that going tonight. Now Providence can slowly walk it up. Their largest lead tonight is this I at think, five. I think 10, you've got be in motion and under 10, start going. Again, late. Down to five for yeah. Carter. Uh, settle. Oh, uh, stuck in that ball. Whew. So possession arrow goes to Providence. Two of them in a row. Yep. You know, they're, they're not really running their stuff. They're fortunate to have the possession arrow. Our dear friend Iron Eagle, we call that a Reggie. That's right. Yeah. He's made a career out of it. Yeah. So many. Heard the phrase. Nice pass. I mean, look at the pass. I got a foul. foul. Hopkins will go to the line. <laughs> Bryce Hopkins. Uh, how much is left in the tank for any of these guys right now? I'll tell you what, they have really performed admirably. A lot of sequences, a lot of mental anguish, too. First one is good. Second one is there. Gotta go fast. Oh, nice he play. does. Nemhard left it short. And that, that was a fatigue miss, I think, don't you? We've seen it quite a bit yeah. here in overtime. The first time, just didn't have the legs as he and got to the rim. Good effort by him, too, to get there. Well, Greg New coming in here, this place would be wild. He and Ed Cooley were joking around about it at Big East Media Day and how electric the atmosphere and how uh, Ed Cooley may have primed the pump a little bit with maybe uh, an offer of liquids oh. of last year to make it an even more exciting atmosphere. These two guys, I mean, they're going to talk about this game for years. Uh, it's been great to watch. Both kids, uh, both teams, I should say, Performed at a high level, red defenses, finished trips. I mean, just uh, trying to get a three here. Kaluma. Look, at, look who's there. It's Carter. He did not step out of bounds, evidently. Kaluma missed it for three, and the legs just have not been there for Creighton on the offensive end here in double overtime. Nice cover by Kreisler. He said, oh, why do you have to be there? I mean, just put your hands up and don't move. Providence has scored the first eight in double overtime, leading to this foul. They did a good job here, and then that little step forward cost them. Make all three, get your press stand set up. See and they're going to see if it's a three. Just to be sure. The officials will talk it over. And now the door swings open in a big way for whoever wins Marquette Xavier tomorrow if this score stays. But for now, let's see if this is a three or a two. Oh, yeah, no question, really. My only question would have been, did he step out of bounds before the shot? But that's not what they're looking at. Well, that would have, they would have had it called right away. They could have changed right. that, yeah. Yep. So
So we told you St. John's DePaul coming up next. That is Creighton's next opponent. They are on the road at St. John's. And then just a mammoth game against Marquette coming up in Omaha. Mm -hmm. Down the home stretch. Providence has Villanova coming up on Saturday when they will celebrate that 1973 Final Four team. I saw Ernie D here earlier, as you remember, came over to say hello. People who are of the more recent generation getting into Providence basketball may not know about 87 or 73, but this is a powerhouse program oh, and a lot of history. Yeah, a lot of great players. Joe Mullaney, of course, early on, and Dave Gabbard, what he's done not only for this program, but for so many programs in the Big East over the years. Two for Kaluma. Paul Brenner down. Timeout called. Uh, set up some sort of pressure. We have a whistle off of the exchange on the inbound. What do we have? The team wasn't ready, I guess, yeah. Minute number 50 today. Bynum's asking for the basketball, please. Well set. Oh, they changed the clock. It's 16.5. Same play. They'll pass it off Look into the corner, and it's taken away. Nemhard tried to get it away for Kaluma. It's kicked around. Hopkins will put the cherry on top Ex in double overtime. Exclamation. Kaluma with five. This has been a saga in Providence, and the Friars have a little more at the